can work on your idea Oh, thanks, Priyanka. So you can work on the ideas which probably you have started working during uh, your uh, your PhD program or postdoc program or even your undergrads or uh, uh, you know graduation. So some of these program probably may have a eligibility criteria where they speak about uh, I, you can apply if you are undergrads, if you can come, uh, you can apply if you are a graduate, you know, some kind of a cri eligibility criteria for each and every program. And that is exactly why we are here so that we can discuss some of these eligibility criteria for the BIG program. But I can briefly touch upon other, uh, you know, programs which can give you such opportunity uh, so that you can work on the ideas uh, which you have and create some kind of a uh, you know on a venture which will be which can create a social impact uh, and have an economic impact and all that okay so i will request all of you to please put your questions in the q a chat box and uh, if you would like to stop me at any point of time and ask me something i'm okay for that as well but uh, we can address all your questions towards the end of the session Okay, so uh, as I've already mentioned, basically we are going to talk a lot about BIG and uh, the current call which is open, it, it's a 23rd cycle from the BIRAC. This is a regular call which opens twice a year. So uh, in the January and in the month of July. So it will open and it remains open up to 45 to 46 days. Uh, so this time the call has opened on 1st July and it will be closing on 16th August at 5.30 p.m. Please take a note of it. It's not midnight, 5.30 p.m. Uh, briefly about SIGN, uh, you know, SIGN is also a technology business incubator, which is hosted by IIT Bombay. Uh, we started, uh, uh, you know, our journey as a pilot back in late 90s. And then uh, we formally taken a form of society in the 2004. And uh, from uh, that point onwards, we have supported 200, more than 200 startups. And uh, besides, you know, uh, many which we supported in different programs uh, under the government, uh, you know, uh, in the programs which are supported by different government agency like DST, BIRAC. Uh, we support startup basically who can uh, who who has a uh, you know uh, which are deep tech which can create intellectual property uh, which can have a economic growth social impact strategic value just to mention uh, quickly because we are you know talking probably some of the students are uh, you know uh, attending this session is that uh, uh, just want to mention one example here uh, when we, when I'm uh, talking about you know strategic value you know science startup can create so one of our startup who was uh, you know. Uh, initiated or started or incorporated by the students of IIT Bombay in from 2006 batch, MTech batch. You know, a few, uh, uh, three, uh, uh, three founders or three students, they came together and, you know, they, uh, they incorporated a startup on UA, UAV. So unmanned, uh, uh, you know, drone vehicle. And this is the first startup in India to sub, uh, you, to provide these UAVs or these drones to the uh, Indian Defense Academy, uh, where they have been used uh, for the surveillance purposes on the borders. Uh, uh, they're the first one, uh, uh, Indian, uh, uh, India, uh, making India drones. And uh, recently they have uh, successfully launched IPO and they're very successful, uh, you know, when they announced IPO. So these are the value uh, 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 or these are the, uh, uh, you know, value or impact uh, students can create from academia if they have a, a disruptive idea or a breakthrough ideas and if they are supported uh, uh, you know with the incubators backed up by the incubators supported with the different funding opportunities from the government they can create such values so uh, to give an example you can also similarly uh, take advantage of such government funding and create ventures who can make such impact uh, now, like any other incubator, sign also provides uh, 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 supports at different stages, uh, pre-incubation, when you come in any grant program, incubation, accelerator, you know, and uh, there are uh, in, uh, in infrastructure support, office space, lab space, funding, uh, like from the grant, seed fund, uh, network, access to the network of the angel and VCs, a uh, lot of visibility uh, in the ecosystem. Uh, quickly, uh, you know, moving to uh, you know, BIG thing. But before that, I would like to briefly touch upon what are the funding opportunities available from the BIRAC. So there are different ministries as well from uh, METI, 
or DST, Minister of Information and Technologies, DST, uh, Minister of Power, uh, then uh, uh, Ministry, uh, then IDEX from Defense. You know, they all support uh, breakthrough ideas or disruptive ideas. Uh, we can we, uh, which can create technology or product uh, which can be utilized here in India can be called it as a, call it as a make in India can create uh, intellectual property. Uh, along uh, similarly, Bayrak uh, also support a lot of biotech startup. It's uh, you know they have uh, support right from uh, you know to the undergrad students to the very uh, 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 to the startups which are successful and they would like to scale up. Even support is available to that extent. So here today we are going to talk about Bayrak support. Uh, Bayrak support, uh, as I've already mentioned, uh, and Banani also mentioned about e EUA right program so these are the programs available for student then there are some of the opportunities like seeds Rishti. these also come at a very early stage where you are a graduate or undergrad student there are cohort uh, based mentoring or small kickstart grant which can help you to you know make a, a very small prototype or a rough prototype uh, which can help you to understand what kind of a uh, you know technology you would like to build upon then the further uh, you know support is about the big big is one of the largest biotech funding uh, earliest largest biotech funding up to 50 lakh which gives you funding to establish your proof of concept it is from ideation to poc proof of concept then there is a, a fac for faculty there is a, a program called pace program under which there are eir and crs component now, uh, when faculty members would like to, you know, work on some of the ideas, which may be commercially viable ideas, they are not an exploratory fundamental research. Then in that case, they can apply for these PACE program. Again, these uh, PACE program is open thrice a year. Uh, the call just recently, uh, you know, clo closed on 31st July. Under this, if uh, you know PACE program, uh, uh, you can also uh, uh, you can also avail funding up to fifty lakh, and uh, the project completion tenure is around twenty four months. And this is for the uh, uh, you know if any faculty member does not have any clarity whether they would like to incorporate a startup immediately, so instead of BIG, they can apply for PACE as well. However, if any faculty members have a you know clarity on whether they have a product which can be commercialized and that can be you know build into the 18 months kind of a thing or maybe you know phase one can be created then they can apply in big if they have an intention to create a startup during the tenure of 18 months now there is also support of sibri and bipp now sibri again is up to the proof of concept stage uh, here again uh, the uh, call is again open for healthcare agri tech any bio related thing as for big and any other state uh, BIPP is basically, uh, you know, a call which is open only for clinical trials or field trials. So let's say if you develop something with the help of BIG or a PACE program, now you have incorporated a startup, then you can apply for SIBRI and BIPP. It is only for startup, uh, private limited companies or LLP, and you can get funding. Uh, there is no cap for funding basically for SIBRI and BIPP. However, uh, in SIBRI, 50% up to 50 lakh, it is a straight grant. Uh, anything above 50 lakh uh, has to be an equal contribution, which will be 50% uh, from BIRAC and 50% from the applicant. Uh, BIPP is basically where it is a 50% contribution. For example, even if you are asking 50 lakh, the 25 lakh should come from you. So that equal contribution you have to show. And there are many ways to do that. Uh, you can get in touch with us to understand more about this grant. Uh, because here today we are going to talk about more about BIG, but I just would like to, you know, uh, sensitize you on which all grants are available for you guys. So these comes at different stages, as you see, idea, you know, up to BIG, proof of concept, uh, kind of a thing, uh, seed fund. For example, you have available with a seed fund, which is available with the incubator. For example, uh, even Sign has recently closed the uh, seed fund call, uh, which is available from the buyer. Since this seed fund is available up to 30 lakhs here also some kind of a clinical trials can be done or if you want to uh, uh, refine your product uh, you know that can be done then there is a leap program where the funding is up minimum 50 lakh and up to one cr now this is for scale up and commercialization for example if you have built your product uh, you know with big and or for that matter with SIBRI, then you can do scale up uh, uh, of your business or operation with the leap fund 
and then there are these higher uh, you know funds with higher quantum and contribution uh, those comes at very later stage these all grants are uh, you know are to help you uh, to reach to the market or commercialize your product right from the ideation now there is also a bias supported incubators which are available to support you with different uh, uh, you know r and d infrastructure and all this information is available on the uh, bayrak uh, website i think some of these program i have just mentioned about it that student innovations for advancement and research exploration sitare just to give you one example here one of the uh, bi uh, sitare awardee uh, from uh, karnal uh, ndri karnal he also uh, got the big grant and he was able to build his prototype with the same uh, 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 the technology which he worked in the sitare so these are some of the programs which help you to understand uh, you know uh, the uh, uh, potential of your technology and where you can take it uh i think equity funding translation i have already mentioned some of the faculty members who are away, uh, you know uh, attending this meeting uh, you can apply for pace program i have already mentioned air but crs is something where you can have a contribution from the uh, industry partner as well where something which you uh, develop a technology can be further validated by the industry partner uh and there are social innovation program cp and sparsh but these are not a regular calls uh, these are open whenever the funding is available or there is a need for any development of any particular uh, uh, you know kind of technology under this uh, social impact uh now briefly about uh, uh, let's now uh, discuss uh, more about big uh big is basically as i uh, previously mentioned biotechnology ignition grant uh, one of the early stage funding um, and the largest biotech funding which comes at very early that is even if you are at the ideation if you have a uh, disruptive idea it can be supported in the big now what do you need for big is that uh, you need big partner and incubator uh Bayrak doesn't implement this uh, particular scheme directly. They have appointed eight BIG partners. Sign is one of them. Now, what this BIG partner does is that you apply through BIG partner, so that they take care of your pre-application mentoring. They help you to understand the guidelines, the eligibility criteria. They help you to engage with the mentors, so that you refine your application and you know increase your chances of success. and then uh, your big partner uh, uh, take your application through different screening processes it's a extensive screening process for big and if you get selected for let's say one of the round that is a face to face uh, presentation where you have to pitch it to the panelist who are sitting there 9 to 10 panelists so then uh, big partner helps you uh, mentor you pre uh, help you to prepare the pitch deck for this you know all that uh, uh, is your big partner will help you with now if you get selected for the funding the due diligence come next the monitoring of your progress release of the funds you know all that happens to your big partner through your big partner you also get a lot of visibility in the network and in the ecosystem uh, uh incubator now what is the incubator role in your uh, uh, big project is that uh, if uh, let's say you are right now available uh, let's say in the bits uh, campus so you should go to the incubator talk to them that if you get the big grant will they be able to support you with the uh, you know infrastructure requirement which you need for your project for example if you are working on something healthcare product which you would like to develop so you have to choose the incubator which will help you or their, uh, where their their goals and their uh, you know expertise Uh, are also aligned aligned with what you would like to develop in your big project so you have to choose the incubator you can choose any incubator uh but you it has to be you know uh, you will have to go and work there so it has to be in the same geographical location where you are in so uh, please be mindful while you are selecting a incubator this incubator uh, due diligence also happens if you get shortlisted for the funding now uh, these they will of course incubator and this is a mandatory criteria if you are not really incubated anywhere at this moment while you are applying uh, uh, you need not to worry because you can just take a letter of intent from any incubator and attach attach along with your incubation uh, application so this loi or letter of intent says that if you get a grant and you will incubate with that particular incubator where you will get a 80, entire 18 months support to develop your uh, technology or product so uh, here are some of the incubators are already available uh, yeah so you can choose one of them or you can discuss with us if you need any help with that as well
Now, purpose of the BIG uh, call is to encourage startup or researchers or innovators to develop a technology which is commercially viable. Please remember, any exploratory research is not supported under BIG. There should be a clear or clarity on how that can be commercialized. What are the uh, you know channels through which it will reach to the market? What is the business plan about this? All this clarity is really necessary in your BIG application. Uh, 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 this uh, funding helps you to establish or validate your proof of concept or idea to proof of concept level. Uh, uh, the criteria, eligibility criteria for uh, this particular grant is graduation. So if you're a graduate in uh, you know, bioscience, medical degree holder, biomedical engineer, MSc, MTech, PhD, postdoc, faculty member, employee in any private uh, employment, you can apply for this grant. You can apply as an individual or you can apply as a startup. If you are already have a startup or part of any startup or you hold any stakes in the any company, then you cannot apply as an individual. Now, uh, funding support, I've already mentioned, it is up to 50 lakh. So far, uh, 22 calls have been concluded. This is a 23, 23rd call in which uh, the applications are invited. Now, who all can apply for BIG? There are five themes under BIG. Uh, under healthcare, there are three themes, medtech, that is medical devices, diagnostics, uh, then uh, 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 drugs and biosimilar, and related uh, you know, areas. Then there is uh, agri-tech, secondary agriculture, under which veterinary science, poultry, fish, uh, aquaculture, and anything can go if uh, 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 under a secondary agriculture. Then there is a industrial biotech. Uh, industrial biotechnology is basically when you are, uh, let's say, for example, if you're working on any fermentation technology, you're talking about upskilling and scale up, you know, all those can go under industrial biotechnology. Uh, projects related to environment, clean energy, sanitation, waste management, wastewater treatment, solid waste management, uh, you know, all that can also, you can apply under relevant theme. You can talk to us to, you know, find out any of these, uh, you know, appropriate thing. Choosing an appropriate theme is extremely important because your application goes to the review committee, which is selected as per that theme. For example, if you choose your, uh, uh, you know, uh, committee instead of, let's say, industrial biotech, it went to the agritech. All the uh, you know experts who are sitting there or on review your application in online mode, they are based on the expertise in the agriculture or secondary agriculture. So that's why uh, choosing uh, you know theme is extremely important. Please do take your BIG partner help in that, or at least uh, validate or confirm with them. Uh, now, uh, this is not just uh, as, as it is a biotechnology ignition grant. Bio related uh, work or research is supported under that. Now, uh, let's say if you are developing any robot, for example, agri, you know, agri domain, if you are developing any robot for automating things, that can also be supported here. Any uh, simulation platforms or any robot or any AI ML software, EHR, electronic health record platform, you know, different aggregator platform, which are very relevant and addressing, a, uh, you know, unmet need, they could be supported under this. Some of the impact which BIG have, uh, you know, uh, created so far, they have supported 30 plus innovators, more than 125 plus uh, startups have created. Uh, so you can apply as an individual, but you have to incorporate a startup within 18 months period of the BIG. Uh, if you already have a startup, you can apply as a startup. So this is some of the, you know, uh, impact BIG has created. Now coming to the... Uh, Application categories, uh, as I've already mentioned, you can apply as an individual or a company. Uh, if you are an individual student, uh, you know, passport, uh, even if in case of a company, the passport is one of the important document where, uh, you know, uh, in the first level of screen, that is a sanity check or a document check or eligibility criteria, these document becomes really necessary for you to qualify this round. So please upload your passport. If you do not have passport, uh, start application and you can, uh, attach the uh, supporting document saying that you have started the application or for the passport and you will submit your know, application uh, within let's say two months or three months kind of a period. Now, whatever your ed education qualification, you know, document, you should also upload. Uh, uh, 
all the details about your team members you know will go in your application i can briefly uh, show you uh, how the application form looks like later on then letter of intent is very 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 important uh, if you are not incubated currently anywhere please uh, acquire a letter of intent from a uh, respective incubator where you would like to incubate if you get this grant and attach it along with your application if you are a part of academia let's say faculty member student um, or any um, you know, star who, or uh, are any staff at any uh, okay, organization academic organization then you need a noc uh, from your institute saying that they have they have no, uh, no they have no objection if you would like to apply for this grant you can even uh, you know accept the fund uh, which you will be getting under this and then you are allowed to develop this technology at particularly at the organization and this NOC should also speak about the uh, IP that is intellectual property which will be created using this fund the intellectual property will lies with whom let's say in case of iit bombay you know generally the ip remains with iit bombay if there is any fundamental ip on which uh, technologies are built up using this kind of a uh, you know funding but then iit bombay has a policy where it can be transferred to the uh, uh, you know uh, faculty member or the startup so that uh, this kind of uh, uh, you know clarity is necessary when you are applying through uh, when you you have a position of faculty or you are a student or a postdoc at any academic institution because uh, they will not ask you to quit your current position if even if you are a postdoc or faculty so that you need this kind of an NOC. Now, if you are in a private employment, you have you will have to submit an undertaking that if you get selected for this grant, you you will be quitting your uh, current job and you will be taking a BIG uh, uh, as a full time commitment for the entire eighteen months duration of BIG. Now, if you are a company, you can apply as a private limited company or LLP. Proprietorships are not allowed. Age of the company should not be more than five uh, years. Uh, from the date of call launch in this case the date of call launch was first july 2023 so your company age should not be five years by then if you are a more than five years company then you become an ineligible company uh, if uh, uh, you know uh, pi who is more, uh, applying should be shareholder in the company so most of the time it has observed that people uh, uh, you know uh, maybe employee of the company they apply for the big and they are not holding any shares in the company so that application becomes ineligible so whoever is applying for a big uh, from the company the pi should hold the shares in the company there is no cap it could be uh, single digit, uh, you know, uh, stakes or shares, uh, you know, it could be as small as one or two percent as well. A uh, stake, uh, uh, stake, if you are a stakeholder in, uh, let's say, if uh, you are applying as a company and any promoter who has more than 20 percent shares in the company is also a stakeholder or promoter in other company. Uh, and that other company is actually ineligible in terms of the age. For example, that particular company is more than five years old. So then uh, your application becomes ineligible. I know these are some of the, uh, you know, uh, criteria uh, or eligibility criteria, which are confusing. So do talk to us if you need more clarity on this. And company financial needs need to be attached along with your uh, app company application. For example, MOA, AOA, shareholding, CA certified shareholding pattern, all these needs to be, uh, you know, uploaded along with your application. Uh, quickly about how the review happens for this particular BIG. So there are basically five uh, steps. Uh, the first step which we just discussed is the eligibility criteria where all the documents which you supported, uh, submitted along with your application, uh, you know, the sanity check happens for that. If there is... Uh, uh, if all the documents sub uh, submitted along with the applications are satisfactory, then you qualify that round. So that is called as an eligibility criteria round. Uh, then there is a second round that is called as a pros uh, uh, PSC, Preliminary Screening Committee. Now this screening committee actually looks at uh, looks at your application to check whether you have submitted all the documents or not. For example, your application requires a novelty note, concept note, any other uh, relevant attachment which you will have to do. Uh, uh, then there is an objective milestone, uh, you know, section whether you have submitted a, a relevant information there or not. If they have, if there is a supporting, uh, you know, information documents uh, uh, which is required 
required to review your proposal at the online review. If all are there, then you can qualify your PSC, that is preliminary screening committee check as well. Some uh, uh, the, at this stage, plagiarism check also happens and uh, sufficient content, which I've already mentioned, can be checked at this, uh, you know, uh, particular uh, stage. Now, your BIG partner with whom you will be submitting the uh, or while submitting the application, you will be choosing this BIG partner. For example, let's say you choose the sign. All your these uh, up to PSC eligibility and PSC will happen at uh, sign level. Now, what happens after preliminary screening committee is that all the application from eight BIG partners. So there are eight BIG partners, sign is one of them. So all the application from these eight BIG partner goes to the central pool of BIRAC. And these from this central pool, the application are then segregated in the five themes which I've mentioned previously. Healthcare uh, devices, diagnostic drugs, agri-tech, uh, industrial biotech, and then Byron uh, gives a particular theme to particular BIG partner for which they conduct the online review. Now everything happens online on the Byron portal, where they have a selected pool of a database of more than thousand men uh, reviewers, mentors, from which we can select the reviewers. Uh, now uh, this becomes a very very important stage uh, for the review. Uh, because uh, here, uh, you know, your application will be reviewed by the five people. These are five experts. So domain expert, subject expert, technical expert, scientist, faculty member. It could be anyone who has a technical knowledge of that domain. Then there is industry uh, investors, mentors, different mentors, business uh, mentors. They review your application. The consortium, uh, uh, the mentors or re reviewers are selected from this uh, of this consortium. Okay, so that your application is looked at from technical as well as business angle. Uh, see, we have already uh, established that, right? This particular proposal which you are writing for BIG should have a commercial angle. A mere exploratory project, uh, you know, research projects are not supported. So all these, you know, committee of these five people will look at your proposal. If they feel that this has a potential and this needs to be, uh, you know, supported, then they will score your application. Uh, the geometric mean or average of these five people scoring, if it is more than 60, your application goes to the next level. Now, these some of the criteria on which uh, they will be scoring is, uh, you know, novelty, technical feasibility, if you have provided the pre preliminary data, uh, which says that it is a technically feasible idea and uh, you have a relevant uh, skill set to implement this idea and the team, advisory team, all that. You know, and uh, let's say, for example, this uh, year, uh, SIGN has conducted review for the agri-tech uh, startup. So there were around 150 applications in the agri-domain for which we conducted a startup. So each application was given a five reviewers, and these reviewers uh, are uh, verified and approved in the uh, BIRAC database. Uh, again, these re uh, applications are assigned to the reviewers online. So if you are not submitted anything along with your application and you send it to us separately, we will not be able to send it to these reviewers. So please submit all your document along with your application. And then reviewers will look at this application, review it and score it on the online platform. So everything happens on the BIRAC portal. Now the next uh, uh, stage is the TEP, that is technical evaluation panel. Here the applicants get the opportunity to present their work to the panel of 9 to 10 members. Again, the consortium remains the same of this panelist. These are faculty members, scientists. Uh, you know, uh, maybe director of research organization, uh, some members from the industry, investors, IP, uh, you know, uh, IP attorneys, just to look at your proposal from the strength from the intellectual property. All those, you know, uh, some are from the regulatory, for example, clinical regulatory, uh, experts from the clinical regulatory. So they sit in the panel and then they review your application from all the angle. You only, uh, the, uh, the time allocated to is a 20 minutes. Uh, the voiceover presentation that is recorded presentation from your end is played by eight for eight minutes, followed by the 12 minutes Q&A with this uh, particular committee. So you have precisely 12 minutes to clarify their doubts. Uh, so, you know, we that is exactly why your BIG partner will give you a training or a mentoring uh, to face this, uh, you know, kind of a questions and be very brief while you are answering what kind of expected questions could come, how you can prepare your PhD for that, uh, sorry, your PPT for that all that can be uh, all that can be uh, is taken care by your uh, 
BIG partner. Your BIG partner and you just get, uh, 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 you know, they just have around uh, 15 to 20 days for you to prepare for your technical evaluation, uh, you know, panel presentation. Now, again, what happens is that uh, whoever scores more than 60 in online review, uh, you know, there is an internal committee in the BIRAC who's, uh, uh, you know, set the cutoff. And whoever is beyond the cutoff, then these those are qualified for the TEP. For example, if any uh, if the internal committee sets the cutoff around seventy percent, so then for the healthcare uh, medical device, then the whoever has scored more than 70, 70 or more than seventy, they will be qualifying for TEP. Now, uh, similarly, once the TEP is uh, you know uh, the TEP is again hosted by your BIG partner, but uh, BIRAC decides that which theme will be hosted by. Uh, uh, which partner for example this year we hosted a, a committee for in uh, ibt okay so industrial biotechnology we had done online review for agritech so byra keeps this on the rotation that which brg partner will uh, do uh, or host tp for what or do online review for which theme now uh, it is the esc ESC is the electronic, uh, sorry, uh, expert selection committee. So expert selection committee is basically chair and co-chair from your TEP, uh, you know, meetings. So there are five themes. So uh, chair and co-chair from all these five themes. So 10, uh, you know, expert, they sit together along with the BIRAC internal team and the DBT secretary. They decide the cutoff, final cutoff for each theme. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, then applications they, they get selected in this for funding now this is also depend on the uh, uh, you know uh, uh, availability of funding and the score which is given in the tep so all the geometric mean of eight to nine people which scored your application if that that becomes really critical so the tep again is a very critical stage where you get a chance to uh, you know ex explain your proposal to the committee now, post that this all, uh, you know, entire up to ESC takes six months, post that due diligence and, you know, signing your agreement, all that takes almost one to two months. So this entire process is of six to eight months. I think we have covered this. Some of the evaluation criteria here, which we have is, you know, unmet need. Uh, because, uh, for example, in the healthcare product, uh, if you are talking about any glucose, uh, you know, measuring device, blood glucose measuring device. So uh, there are different, uh, uh, you know, devices, um, continuous monitoring patches nowadays. Then there are you know, these glucometer available, you know, at hospital, PHCs, or even at home, uh, you know. And there are different uh, tests uh, which can be done at path lab as well. So now what is the need basically to have this kind of a product which you will be developing? For example, if you are developing this continuous monitoring patch, what is the need? So you'll have to find, uh, identify that customer segment, which are really, for them, which is, it is really critical to monitor there is a need for continuous monitoring if somebody is let's say a chronic kidney disease or anything uh, or somebody uh, for whom uh, there is an, another underlying condition where sugar can uh, uh, you know affect that so you know these are the uh, the segment which you'll have to find out and then you'll have to write in your application that this is the segment we, for this it is an unmet need and that is exactly what you are addressing here now, what is the value proposition? For example, if I have a continuous uh, glucose monitoring patch, uh, my uh, quality of life, is it going to be uh, uh, improved or uh, uh, are there going to be any other values uh, your product can, uh, you know, offer for me as a customer, then you will have to write this. Now, differentiation. For example, continuous monitoring patch has to be compared uh, with other patches as well as other glucose, uh, blood glucose, uh, you know, monitoring devices as well. Now, how that is going to be a different, uh, what kind of a output, what, what kind of, a, uh, you know, data you will be getting through that. And let's say if based on that data, any action needs to be taken, how that can be done. So you will have to, uh, you know, explain that in your application and your pitch take as well. Now, how feasible is this idea? You know, how that adhesive will be, or uh, is that, uh, you know, long-term exposure to that kind of adhesive of your continuous monitoring patch is going to cause any, uh, you know, any side effect for you or any cytotoxicity or anything. Uh, all that needs to be, uh, you know, informed. And then how these patches will be, you know, created. Uh, uh, is this going to be a different fabric or, uh, you know, different material which you'll be using? 
Now, uh, team strength is also very important. Some of the projects I have seen, you know, getting supported only because of the team or uh, because sometimes these are very risky projects. So if, if you have an advisory team uh, where, you know, let's say if you have any healthcare uh, uh, application and your advisory team is basically from AIMS Delhi and other AIMS and other reputed organization, probably, uh, you know, your committee gets, uh, uh, you know, probably confidence that uh, you have the right team to guide you if you need any technical and clinically relevant support. Uh, business perspective is very important because uh, this is for only a, a technology or ideas which can be commercially viable. So techno-commercially feasible ideas are supported most of the time. So that clarity is necessary. For example, if this is a healthcare glucose monitoring patch, continuous monitoring patch, you know, who is going to be your customers? Is it going to be a B2C idea or it is going to be a B2B idea? Is it going to be available on the Amazon uh, e-commerce platform? Uh, is it, it will be recommended by the clinician or, uh, uh, you know, endocrinologist or who is that going to approve this, uh, you know, recommend this? How are you going to reach to the people? You know, all that becomes really important and that has to come into your application. <clears throat> BIG is up to TRL 4. Please do discuss with us. I'm not going much detail in TRL. Uh, if you would like to apply, please do discuss about your TRL level with us because TRL means uh, technology readiness level. TRL is, could be very subjective and very confusing as well. Uh, I think we have discussed some of the points, but you know, uh, some of these uh, attachments which you will be doing is concept note. Here, you know, technically you will have to write a lot of things. It should not be more than a page or something because it's an attachment. People do write ACs, but that is not expected because your reviewers generally look at your proposal for 20 minutes, not more than that. And they have a lot to, uh, you know, read in that. So your concept, concept note could be pictorial, graphical, you know, which can be easy to comprehend. And, you know, uh, uh, reviewers could be, uh, you know, in, uh, should be interested in reading that. So how you can maintain that, you know, uh, uh, how you can maintain that and keep them really interesting in reading your uh, document. That's becomes really important. So your writing skills are, uh, you know, are also the way you tell your story about how you are going to develop this product. Uh, you know, what is your, uh, 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 what is your idea? How you are differentiating? What are the challenging challenges you foresee? And how do you plan to overcome that? If you can summarize it well in this concept note, probably, you know, you can actually get their attention to read the entire document. Now, uh, novelty is very important because these are, you know, these are the projects where IP becomes really important. You will also have a lot of IP agents which will be embedded in the online review stage as well as at the TP stage. Now, uh, how this idea is novel, if it is not entirely novel, is there any incremental innovation or is there going to be any import substitution? For example, some of the, uh, uh, you know, sophisticated instruments, that's, let's say, needs to be imported and you can create something, uh, you know, as a make in India product or something uh, with the uh, parts available here you know, you can uh, maybe assemble it or maybe you can have access to that very easily. So maybe you can have it as an import substitution. Slide deck is another very important attachment. Do uh, Please do submit your slide deck because most of the reviewer, they would like to quickly go and glance through what you have really what would like to offer through this application or this particular technology. So here, you know, you can uh, uh, you can focus on your unmet need. What is the unmet need? Just two to three lines. Please do not write much because uh, experts, they are well aware about the problems. Probably you'll have to say more about what technology you are developing and how it is different than others. Again, technology, uh, you know, explanation could be in terms of what kind of a market available for this kind of a need. For example, glucose monitoring. I mean, there is a, there is a good market which is available for that. And there are many players, but there could be a space for many players in the market, right? So if the numbers is significant, you can say that. Let's say you can start with you know small segment, but you will be covering that going forward. Uh, your technology can be you know you can uh, show it in the terms of pictorial, uh, you know, uh, graphical. Or maybe if you have any pictures, snapshot designs, you can put it there. Uh, I would also like to, you know, uh, advise you at this stage is that because you will be, uh, you know, uh, 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 revealing a lot of details here. 
and all these experts uh, are under oath not to disclose anything because they have signed nda with us and byrad however it is a good idea to file a provisional patent okay uh, so that it you also get a good idea about the prior art search when you do that that what all technologies are available in the market or they have granted ip on that so that will also help you to write your project or uh, your application very well now what is your road map going forward so big is something which will give you just a, a kick start kind of a grant here uh, you know uh, and then how are you going to uh, complete your entire product going forward and when are you going to launch it in the market and blah 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 all that has to be given uh, i think understanding who is your end user and clients sometimes end user and clients are same because if i am developing some technology for clinicians or doctors uh, for which patients are going to be beneficial then my clients are doctor and clinicians and hospital but not the patients okay so you'll have to tell them that who is that customer uh, and if you have identified or in case let's say b2b and b2c both are my customer but who is going to be your first customer is it a b2b is you going to be your first customer then your clinician and doctors or hospital becomes your first customer so you'll have to tell that and competitive landscape is very important don't ever say that i don't have any competition because there is always a competition even if it is a uh, you know traditional way of uh, you know taking care of something so that is that also is your competition so uh, understand your competition are how many players are there are the direct competition indirect competition please compare your product with them on a universally accepted attributes you know all that needs to be uh, presented in your application you should provide all the technical data if you have filed any it all the details in your application if you have any lab level data graphs or uh, you know any chromatograms or anything which shows that you have done this work and this seems to be a physical please do attach with your application if you do not have any work it's just an idea please cite the necessary and relevant uh, you know references uh, and credible references from which you have you got inspired and you would like to develop this uh team mentors please do mention all the details do not skip this uh having a uh, you know business mentor is very important because it's a commercially uh, a techno uh, commercially feasible ideas but a business mentor cannot be onboarded on the first day so you may say that or in your application that you will be doing that soon however uh, uh, and what kind of profile you will be onboarding you may say that uh, in uh, you know uh, uh, team details as well or mentor details i think we have spoken about this a lot but then okay uh, effective title is something very important see the moment i uh, open your application i'm just going to see the title first if it is technically too technically crowded uh, you know technical jargons and a very long title sometimes people uh, uh, you know they get bored and they don't want to read such application or uh, you know they may not even pay attention to what you have written so please write a good crisp title uh you know uh, not really much with the uh, you know technical jargon please understand your application will be reviewed uh, by the uh, investors and industry people as well and they may not be technically uh, uh, you know aware about uh, all the terminologies they may be aware about the problems they may understand the solution but not all the technical uh, uh, terminologies so do avoid that at least in the title uh, you may uh, you know uh, insert one or two technical uh, uh, or uh, terminologies which are really essential but do not make it make it complicated more than it required uh, i think status statistically significant data you know how to put it being in academia you may aware about it so do not uh, put uh, you know uh, graphic uh, graphs one after uh, gra graphs one after that you know uh, you should have a statistically pulled data which gives you a uh, you know uh, maybe a quick snapshot of what you have done previously uh, then uh, i think market research and prior art search in case of ip if you get a chance if you need some help in that do get in touch with us as well uh i think uh, more or less we have covered that uh, understand this is a uh, biotechnology ignition grant so it is all about technology so it has to be uh, scientifically sound of course technically sound project technology is the core of this however it should be a commercially viable idea as well for example if i'm developing developing a ehr platform okay electronic health record 
now how that electronic health record platform how it can be developed what all things it can take care how easily that uh, you know data uh, can be converted into this electronic health record who can use it why a doctor should or clinician should use it you know all that uh, you know has to come out if even if it is a platform uh, uh, commercial feasibility is very very important for any big project now all this is for the fund okay so budget becomes really important somehow sometimes the people do not uh, apportion the funds in appropriate heads and then uh, later on they come back and say that we would like to uh, reapportion the funds now in big it is not allowed any money come uh, from capex to opex that is from equipment head if you fixed any budget you cannot move now we also advise a lot of people that do not park more money or more funds in the equipment head because you are supposed to work at the uh, incubator incubator which can provide you labs access to labs and all so whatever is available at the incubator please do use it and do not create a lot of uh, you know capex or asset for you because it has attached or taxation and all that because you will be going to be a startup no all that will be a uh, issue for you so uh, uh, try to use uh, equipment which are available at the incubator if something is not available or very critical for your project do purchase that 30% budget you can allocate for that now this is only grant where you get a 30% uh, project project budget for hiring people let's say if you are a faculty member student and you want other team you would like to hire you have the money here right even clinicians they are not expected to leave their uh, practice and completely uh, focus on this so they can also hire people or even if you are a startup and you would like to have hire more team members you can do that uh, 50k per month is the uh, uh you know cut off which is set for drawing any salary uh, from the manpower head uh, salaried people uh, people uh, or the student who are getting fellowship or faculty members who are getting uh, you know uh, some kind of a remuneration salaries they cannot be draw salary from manpower head uh outsourcing you can uh, fabricate your product from outside you have a cons you can have a consultancy uh charges a portion here uh incubation I incubation is mandatory for this program and you can take rental charges from here uh, you have a uh, uh, you have a room for ip uh, you know apportioning your budget uh, for ip up to 1.5 lakh uh, you can travel for the uh, work related to your big attend conferences related to your product development that can go here and there are uh, other head like consumer contingency now one quick uh, uh, you know uh, think on the uh, since you are getting this money from byrac uh, you will have to uh, pay the royalty so this royalty clause has been included uh, from the big cycle 16 5% royalty on the net sale of the product or technology uh, which is developed through the byrac support for example if you are developed something um, and you have uh, you sold let's say 100 units uh, so you the revenue generated on that 100 units you will pay 5% royalty back to the byrac and you will keep paying this until you repay the entire amount uh, so far i, I think uh, royalty uh, since i mentioned this clause has embedded from big 16 cycle so far we have not seen anyone who is at revenue generating stage uh, but this clause is newly added and uh, i think we'll work on it to see how that can be implemented there is no liability to pay royalty if you terminate your uh, or foreclose the project as per the gla terms uh, if you transfer a technology or license it there are consideration model available at byrac you can uh, transfer your uh, uh, you know royalty based on that uh, some of the tips is that uh, you know uh, don't wait for the last moment to submit your application because on 16 it will be really uh, heavy traffic on that uh, particular portal while you are going to submit your application so most of the time for 400 to 500 application they do not get submitted uh, because they are at the uh, they they uh, try to upload the application and everything on the last moment so please do not submit on 16th please try to submit on at least 15th not a one week prior so at least on 15th august you please submit your application uh all the documents preliminary data supporting documents please do submit along with your application uh, because it is not a good idea to work on uh, applic uh, your entire application and then miss uploading something which may affect your chance of going through this uh, you know going going to the next stage uh quickly give you a snapshot of what uh, startups so far have been supported and then uh, we'll probably take up questions so 
Uh, in healthcare, just to highlight uh, some of the grantees from the previous cycle, rural surgery surgeries is the clinician and uh, 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 innovator or enthusiast, technology enthusiast from Northeast. They have they are developing this low cost portable laptop cystoscope for urological procedure. Now this can be utilized at the uh, uh, you know rural areas or uh, even hilly regions where uh, uh, this kind of a sophisticated instrument cannot be installed or probably skilled operators are not available. So in this uh, particular uh, you know uh, technology teleconsultation even the uh, tele support is uh, 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 remote support is available while they are performing this surgeries or operations haystack is uh, another uh, you know uh, postdoc from iit bombay and faculty member the group they have developed this genomics technology it's basically uh, the uh, your uh, analytical platform where they can actually give you a, a clinical uh, where they can give you a report in less than 15 hours which can be clinically actionable now they started working on tb uh, tuberculosis where uh, uh, multi-drug resistant TB is an issue. So they can generate a report where they can say which are the antibiotics uh, could be sensitive, could be resistant uh, kind of a thing so that the uh, clinician can prescribe those medicines. They're also working on sepsis directly or uh, detecting directly from the blood so that they can also give these reports less than 10 hours kind of a thing. Uh, so that, uh, you know, critical, uh, they, uh, so you probably know that sep in sep sepsis cases, the fatality or the fatal rate is really high, so they can be really saved. Now, Neurostailer is again uh, two students uh, which are working at HTIC uh, IIT Madras. They're developing this variable for EEG so that they can detect and classify the epileptic seizures in the pediatric patients, where it becomes really challenging and very, very critical. Learn uh, something on, uh, you know, anti-malarial single dose uh, injectable formulation in the drug category. Uh, AI since again a faculty member from Maharashtra region, he is developing a uh, voice analytics uh, analytics for TB to screen the masses, so that uh, based on that they can identify if there is a uh, if it uh, they are uh, you know infected with the TB or not, uh, and uh, this is a screening test, so they can further go to the confirmatory test. Tech Invention, again, a group of researchers uh, who are working in the area, uh, uh, you know, of drug and uh, 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 basically drugs. So they have developing the lysine, which is uh, an enzybiotic, uh, uh, and examining they are examining the synergistic effect with the antibiotics. Ion, again, uh, some uh, technology enthusiasts uh, from Time Sri Chitra, they are working on this exoskeleton uh, for uh, regaining motor function of upper limb. Uh, so they are uh, about to complete their project. Uh, queries again uh, for the passive rehabilitation device for the burn wound or, uh, you know, patients uh, who are uh, suffering from this kind of a stiffness and hand functionality. Um, Medgear again from IIT Bombay, uh, they're developing this uh, pre-sterilized isolation unit. So your bed can be become an, a small ICU where these burn patients, for them, ICU cannot be available everywhere. So their bed becomes a, a, a small ICU with their uh, isolation unit, which can be quickly deployed on the bed, top of the bed. So, or is again a clinician who is developing a plastic flexible bar. He's a uh, um, he, um, uh, he's a dentist, and there he finds a need for the plastic flexible bar where uh, you know uh, uh, other metal bars are available, but which they cannot take the uh, 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 cannot uh, uh, you know uh, basically solve for some of the issues uh, which can be taken care by the plastic bar. Abhaya, again, a researcher from me, uh, from a, a research department of Sims Nagpur. They are developing this uh, point of care uh, test for occupationally exposed population to brucella infection. Uh, it, it has been granted in uh, basically uh, BIG cycle 21. Uh, some of these in healthcare, uh, just to highlight some in clean take, wastewater treatment. There was one project uh, awarded to Kapindra. There was something to the Roha Biotech. Uh, you know, they are working on the packaging material uh, from the uh, bio packaging material. Uh, 
again some of the uh, green shift energy they developing the robust technology for various waste stream then a couple of uh, you know uh, students from iit bombay working on air conditioner it's a hybrid air conditioner which has a more than 40% energy efficiency and they were they are developing this uh, air con hybrid air conditioner for the farmers where the multiple crops can be stored in one single con uh, you know uh, this uh, uh, air conditioner or this uh, particular device uh, just to tell you some in industrial biotechnology uh, you know people are working on cultivated meat um, then some are working on optimization of pharma and biotech manufacturing uh, you know commercial uh, uh, valuable products or uh, using the spectral optimization techniques uh, some are working on bio based and converting into high value bio based uh, industrial chemicals using the fermentation techniques uh, agri tech we have a uh, uh, you know ravi prakash uh, from ndri who is developing these uh, milking cum cooling pail for small to marginal farms again a uh, agricultural robot for quarter harvesting uh, some of the uh, interesting project uh, you know uh, e tongue uh, this particular electronic tongue uh, for a quality estimation of mango so these are some of the projects in agritech uh, one another interesting one from ndri they are developing a pregnancy diagnostic kit for bovines or uh, it's, it's a nanoparticle based lateral flow uh, assay and uh, hybrid robot uh, which involves climbing robot and parent robot for arachna uh, nut harvesting and pace monitoring and control so these are some of the uh, you know projects which are uh, previously uh, supported these are some of the sign facilities we need to give you a glance of that and uh, thank you so much uh, i think this is uh, uh, you can write to us in case you would like to up apply for BIG or you have any queries or you would like to get some pre-application entry, sign underscore BIG at signiitb.org. Uh, Priyank and me will, uh, you know, uh, will discuss with you. We can loop in some uh, relevant mentors as well so that you can discuss with them. Please remember the deadline for the application is 16th August, 5.30 p.m. I think uh, what we can do now is that uh, we can take up few questions. Yeah, thank you, Pranita, for your uh, for the discussion. And now I think we can take up some questions from the audience. If we may have some questions. Um, okay. So uh, one of the question I have. Uh, I think Priyanka, there is one hand raised. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, hi, Mohit, you can ask your question. Hello, ma'am. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I just need to ask that I'm already incubated at IIT Indore. So do I have to take a LOI from them also? And I've also got a format from you of LOI. So okay. should I fill both or I just need okay. to fill up one? So Mohit, you can have a, uh, see, see, if you're already incubated, uh, if you're already incubated, then you can submit your incubation agreement. Okay. Uh, we have a camera just on a mute for a minute or there is a echo. Yes. Okay, thank you. So if Mohit, if you have already incubated with the uh, uh, with the incubator, then you can submit an incubation agreement. But if in case you don't have an incubation agreement, then you can even take a LOI from any incubator. You need not to take it from us. We you can choose us as BIG partner. You can choose any incubator uh, which you would like to choose. Okay, ma. Also, I had one more question. Can I ask? Sure, sure. Go ahead. So, my startup is not uh, really very technology oriented. It, it, it is more like mechanical technology, not AI or uh, I can say anything related to computer. So, will that be taken into consideration for the grant? We need more information, at least. Uh, 
uh, what you are saying is okay even if for a big but we need more information for example if you can point out which is the the and a theme or area you are going to work on let's say healthcare agritech so i'm working on waste management uh, waste to wealth creation actually yeah of course you can qualify for that i mean not all the technologies uh, uh, would be a breakthrough technologies but they could have additional uh, you know uh, advantages so even if you can show that uh, you know how you can take care of certain issues uh, with your product and technology uh, which is related to biotechnology of course and in your case best to wealth i can see that yes so you can submit but mohit if you can write to us and let us know more about uh, your product or technology we can help you uh, on that so if uh, priya has already uh, mentioned our email address in the chat box so do uh, get in touch with us Yes, ma'am. I'll do it today only. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, thanks, Akash, for that question. Uh, so there is no issue. Let's say if you apply for individual as an individual to BIG, we encourage all the individuals to incorporate the startup before uh, you know uh, you uh, sign the incub uh, BIG agreement. And why is that? Because if you apply as an individual and we do the due diligence, uh, and let's say tomorrow after two months or three months, or let's say down the line six months, ten months, you incorporate a startup, we have to again do the due diligence. So we uh, enter, and your money uh, release will be again. We will have to withhold that thing process until and unless we complete due diligence of startup. So it becomes uh, uh, a lot of uh, you know due diligence for us for you, and you will you lose uh, precious time of. Your your big or uh, 18 months so we recommend or we advise strongly advise that you incorporate a startup before you start your big and sign the agreement let's say even if you have not done that and you have applied as an individual sign the agreement as an individual if you get a seed fund that means you are already a startup okay so in in this case big does not have an issue in fact it is one of the good sign that you are able to do raise a follow on funding okay so even if you you, you are, if you get another funding let's say from dst okay that is okay only thing is that the funding which you are getting from any sources let's say for seed fund or uh, another government grant fund the milestone should not be overlapping that you will have to clarify with your big partner and uh, the respective uh, you know uh, uh, another uh, uh, funding agency be it uh, incubator be it uh, angel investors anybody so those funding will should not be overlapping if your milestones are different for both the fundings big absolutely does not stop you from taking any fund from anywhere uh, government funding or a private funding i hope i have answered your question akash oh i think we have an amrita so you will have to unmute namrata namrata please go ahead and ask your question Hello. yeah hi ma'am uh, i had applied uh, in the last call mm -hmm. uh, for the big grant uh, Uh, and uh, the proposal uh, i did not get selected uh, for uh, uh, some specific reasons mentioned by the uh, committee uh, so can i apply reapply uh, by uh, uh, incorporating the some of the changes suggested uh, this time with the same uh, email id and uh, okay uh, okay namrata thank you for this question so uh, you know let me tell you 80% of the application they do not get supported in the first round or maybe 80% grantees i should say they do not get supported in the first round because sometimes the application is wrong sometimes the uh, relevant data is missing you know in that case uh, you know big also expect you to come back by after incorporating the feedback which is given by the reviewers at different stages 
And if you have done that, you can in fact mention that in your application that the feedback given to you was on the on the points like this. For example, let's say you don't have a relevant mentor on the team, so they ask you to uh, onboard a relevant mentor, or maybe uh, there is no clarity on the business, or there is a no no clarity on uh, uh, technology or IP. So let's say you embed uh, that feedback which is given by a response to that feedback given by the reviewers and uh, resubmit your application from the same email address or the same ID which you have created last time, you know, because you can create some login credentials on the Byrack portal. So do uh, please go ahead with the same credentials and there is absolutely no issue because the, uh, all the panelists or all the reviewers uh, in the BIG, they are aware about this and they are very open if you come back, uh, uh, you know, second time, third time also after incorporating the feedback. And uh, let me tell you about the, uh, you know, one of the startup here I highlighted I'm not going to take their name, but they got the BIG in their fourth attempt. Okay, so that's absolutely okay. Just go ahead with the same credentials. Uh, also, uh, one uh, few of the comment uh, I received was uh, like uh, the detailed. Uh, I I'm actually working on a herbal formulation. I have I hadn't mentioned the plant names uh, for the reason that it was not yet patented. Uh, so how to tackle this kind of a situation? No, but I think I've covered this. I understand this, uh, you know, a dilemma is about revealing the information on this kind of a platforms. So the easy way out is here is that to file a provisional patent. You know, if you have any IP attorney in your, uh, you know, network, uh, uh, you approach them. If you want any IP attorneys from our network, do write to us. We will uh, engage you with them. Or you can, uh, you know, uh, reach out to your incubator or at your organization. They will help you with the same. File a provisional patent, which doesn't need a lot of information. But once you file a provisional patent, uh, uh, then your idea is secured. However, if you are disclosing uh, more than what you have written in your provisional patent, the protection does not remain the same for entire thing. Okay, for example, my provisional patent, I have said that the herb herbal formulation may be for anti-cancer or something, or maybe um, uh, to re uh, reduce the side effect of the radiation therapy. But I haven't uh, mentioned the herbs name there. The protection is not on that. So better to mention what you would like to uh, protect uh, and then reveal the information. I think filing a provisional in, uh, info, uh, patent is possible in few days as well, if you have a good attorney. Okay, okay thank you. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Nata. Uh, so, um, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Priyanka, you'll have to unmute him. Yeah, Soham, please go ahead with your question. Hello. Yeah. Ma'am, good afternoon. Uh, Soham, can Hello. you be a little louder? Uh, Hello, am I audible oh. now? Yes, yes, you are audible now. Okay, okay. Uh, Ma'am, I am junior research fellow at IIT BBS. Okay, uh, so we are working here on microwave pyrolysis to convert any kind of waste to energy and miss value added products like diesel like substances and child like substances. So is there any scope to get uh, this big, uh, means big grant mm -hmm. uh, through uh, for, for our technology? It's a breakthrough technology we are working with. Okay. So Soham, probably you'll have to explain how is your technology is a big breakthrough because pyrolysis is a known technology, right? But this then is microwave uh, pyrolysis. Okay. So then you'll have to emphasize on how this is different than the technology which is well known in the domain. Okay, and then what would be the advantages of that? Of course, it would be. I think one of the uh, grant, uh, one of the grantees previously supported, they are also develop uh, developing, uh, you know, converting bio waste. Uh, to basically activated carbon, uh, you know, for that they are developing a device. So that is something which is can be supported under this. But Soham, if you can uh, give us more details by personally writing to us, we'll be able to guide more. But at this moment, I'll be able to tell you this is something which can be supported under BIG. Uh, okay, ma'am. Thank you. And the deadline is 16th August, right? 16th August, 5.30 p.m. 
So okay. I'm not a minute more than 5.30 p.m. The portal okay. is a auto closing, okay? Okay. 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 Thanks. Thanks, Thanks. Soham, for participating. Yeah. I think we have was John. Uh, hi, John. Uh, please go ahead with your question. Yeah. Hi. Good evening. Yeah. Hi. So I would like to know, so we are into biodegradable polymers and the application is into diapers, etc. And I want to know the facilities uh, that can be supportive to us, like uh, polymer reactors and thermal analysis, thermal studies, something like that. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm unable to understand. So would you like to buy all these under BIG or you are checking that whether it is available with us? Yes, it's second one. So I'm checking uh, whether it okay. is available there. Okay, not at Sign. Sign also has, uh, you know, uh, labs not with us, but probably we'll have to check with uh, if you you are here in IIT, uh, you know, in the Mumbai or nearby region, and if you would like to use anything from IIT Mumbai, we can definitely check. I think there's a lot of polymer related uh, research yes. happens on the campus, so we can easily find something for you. Uh, and since Sign has an MOU. Uh, with the IIT Bombay and other organizations. So whoever, you know, are incubated, they get access to those facilities, of course, and grantees as well, John. So, yeah, so definitely. And my second question is like, uh, can we find the mentor there? Now, which kind of a mentor? Uh, is it a technical or a business? Uh, it's uh, a technical for now. Okay. So uh, let me tell you one thing. I mean, uh, John, all the faculty members from IIT Bombay, they are very well versed with uh, BIG, BIRAC support, and they're very open to support sign startups. Uh, when I say sign startup, which are coming externally, which probably does not have any ties with IIT Bombay in terms of alumni or faculty, you know, or a joint research. So they are very open. So if you would like to check anyone, let's say in chem chemistry department, some faculty member, you can directly write to them if they are not approachable and let's say, uh, you know, being associated with sign, of course, give you give you that extra element where, you know, faculty members, you know, they understand oh, it is associated with sign. So some or other way, they know that it is verified and they can go ahead with some person where they are not aware, basically, because somebody is coming from outside campus. Uh, uh, but... Uh, uh, nonetheless, all the uh, faculty members are really open for such kind of a collaboration if they are working on very interesting or maybe destructive ideas. So you can identify them uh, yourself as well, a technical person. You can write directly to them, faculty members. Let's say if you get selected under BIG or you are incubated with us or associated with us, we try to connect you with the faculty members. That happens all the time here. All our grantees which are, we have shown you here, if you remember, uh, we talked about e uh, electronic uh, uh, um, tongue, e-tongue kind of a project. So it is associated with one of the faculty members. So most of these are associated. So that happens, John. Thank you, Dr. Pranita. Thank you. Thank you for participating. I think uh, Dr. Vishal here in the chat box has put in that uh, I missed criteria for startup. Can you again repeat? Of course, I will. Uh, Dr. Rajiv, actually, oh. My login, he is not getting the. Okay. Use my login. Sure. Okay. Hi. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Rajiv, for clarifying that. Okay. So, startup criteria is that, uh, you know, startup, yeah, st uh, startup and private start in the startup category, private limited companies and LLP can apply. Uh, proprietorships are not uh, uh, you know eligible to apply for this grant uh, if it is a startup the age should not be more than five years from the date of call launch for example in this case the call launch was first july 2023 so your age of the startup should not be more than five years by that date first july now uh, again uh, if you are applying from startup or the PI, so the so project investigator from that startup should hold the equity in the startup stakes. It could be as low as a single digit equity, but they should be stakeholders. Uh, again, in if let's say uh, we are talking about eligibility criteria, so we have to, uh, uh, talked about five years criteria, right? Five years uh, age of the startup. Now, let's say there are three, um, uh, you know, co-founders and one of the co-founder is also a part of, uh, let's say, uh, another startup, shareholder in another startup. So if that particular company is a biotech company, 
and its age is more than five years, then that uh, particular application becomes ineligible. So any startup founder who is stakeholder in two companies, they have to be very careful if the other company is also a biotech company, the age should not be five years for any company. So these are some of the criteria, but the important Uh, you know, uh, audit statement or something for your startup, that all you'll have to submit. These are some of the criteria for startups for, uh, in terms of uh, eligibility. Uh, I hope if Vishal, if I'm not clarified any particular point which you are uh, intend to, you know, have information, please do let me know. Uh, Mohit, meanwhile, you have raised your hand again. Uh, is there any question or it's just previous? Okay. Ma'am, can you please share the mail ID once again? Uh, okay. We'll put it in the chat box. Okay. And uh, if you want, I can quickly also share the uh, slide as well where we have mentioned it. Okay. So it's... Okay, there's something wrong. Okay. I think Priyanka must have shared over email, but this is to quickly, uh, you know, uh, the email address is sign underscore big at sign org. Okay, so uh, please do write to us uh, on this sign underscore big at sign uh, we have a question from one of our panelists, Dr. Vishal. He is from uh, BIG Mesra. So his question is, uh, he wants to know the criteria uh, for startup. Uh, thank you, Priyanka. We have just covered that. Answer. Okay, I think... Uh, this is it from my end. So, we are very stressed. Take one. I have. There is just take one, Priyanka. I have just one quick point here to make is that uh, please, uh, please do talk to a BIG partner, whoever you would like to select. However, uh, it is uh, it is a good idea to talk to them, understand about the theme, which is really important, timelines and the documents you should be attaching with your application. And if you need any clarity on the business part, okay, that becomes really important because this is a, a grant given to the commercially viable ideas. So do talk to BIG partner before submitting your application. They can help you with many things, okay? So uh, from this region, we are not the BIG partner. You can get in touch with us. Uh, and in fact, if you don't want to submit your application in this cycle, the next cycle will again open on the 1st January. You can get yourself prepared uh, for that cycle as well by talking to us. However, we, uh, you know, we suggest everyone or recommend that you go ahead and submit your application so that you get a relevant feedback, which you modify or incorporate in your next application. So um, that's it from my end. And thank you all for joining. Thank you. Over to you, Priyanka. Um, thank you, Pranita. Okay. Thank you, Pranita, uh, for this discussion. And I want to thank all of our panelists and also Atangit for this session. Do write to us if you have any questions. Uh, do write to us if you have any queries. Uh, I think, uh, Priyanka, if we can mention about the uh, availability of the recording on the YouTube. Yeah, this, uh, we have a YouTube channel, uh, YouTube channel for Sign IITB. You can check out this uh, today's session as well as the previous session uh, for big guidance in that channel. I will write it. I'll write it in the chat. So if we we have like reached 
it is already 5:30 if we do not have any more question so i think we can just stop this meeting and thank you very much thank, thank you all thank you. Mm -hmm.